all seen one block Minecraft before. You know it as the regenerating sky block that gives you better and better items over time. But that's not why you clicked on this video. Today we're taking this iconic challenge to the next level and limiting our world to just a single chunk. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and there. I've made the world border invisible. It just hurts my eyes a bit, but don't worry, it's still there. Now, the first biome that we have is planes. So the game is telling me to break the block below you. And as we all know, things regenerate. It is an infinite block. And look at that, we have log. We'll go ahead, start the expansion on this island. And I think we'll just go ahead with a crafting table right now. Make shovel. Pick. Oh, and I should also mention, I'm actually playing this series on my own Minecraft server, Nifty MC. So if you want to play alongside my journey, details are in the description. And we've got our very first animal. I think this actually might be a first for me not killing my starter pig. So maybe we'll just go ahead and slab it up to keep him extra safe. Oh, we've got another chest with apples, but the oak sapling is probably the big one there. Right, let's go ahead and place that right there. You know, I didn't make an ax and now I'm realizing that I, I think we want an axe for this. Oh, and look at that, we have water. Okay, that's actually really big because now we can get underneath this and in a death-defying attempt, We'll place that there. But yeah, okay, if we get gravel, it won't fall through now. Sweet. Now, I should also mention that this is actually an updated version of one block. The original one block was 1.16, so this is updated to include all the items since then. Here we have a benevolent gift of one torch. Wow, this just that's incredible. Thank you so much, guys. That's gonna that's gonna save everything. Oh, <gasps> Okay, so I think that was like the starter intro section. And there we have it with our true planes beginning. So we'll just go ahead, we'll chop a whole bunch of stuff down. Oh, and look at that, as you can see, just to start off, Azalea, like that's a new item. <gasps> a second pig. Now, I just wanna turn this on for a second so we know where we're building. I think we should probably just use slabs for now. Wow, okay, so that's it, we can't. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a pretty tight world we've got here. You really feel it when you can see the world border. Now, I think my plan for this first floor, since obviously we're gonna have to be building up and down, uh, I wanna have these like little sections. See what we've got going on here? And then, you know, since this is like a plains area, we can start to fill it in with dirt. Oh, we've got a pumpkin, a few pumpkins, a melon. Okay, maybe I know what this should be. We can make a wooden hoe. We can take some of these melons, turn them into seeds, and then and maybe this first area wants to be a farm. Oh, another pig. We don't have anything to breathe him yet, but three makes me feel a little more comfortable. And in this chest we have, oh, look, it's the number of people not subscribed. Now our goal is to have 69% of viewers not subscribed. Right now we are at 91 and way off. So please hit subscribe, help us on our journey. Oh, we've also got seeds in here. I guess we just better get them started now. Ooh, that's a cow. Now oh, we're on to a new day. I think I will try laying down some more dirt. It'll be a second area. We're gonna try to connect the grass over here because uh, I want this to actually be our farm area. So for this, we're gonna need oak fences. You guys wanna just be cool for me and, and just 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 let me push you in here? Yes, cow. And that'll be the pig. There, I think that's the best we can do for now. Finish that up with a gate. Nice, it's looking pretty good. Now, I realize I've also made a bit of a fatal error in not placing our water. So now these things should grow a slight tiny bit faster. And the last thing we'll do before we get back to it is just fill in these edges. It doesn't look great yet, but at this point, we're just focused on practicality. Now we will return to the sacred block. A second cow. That's big, that's big. Yes, cow, yes. Whoa, orange sheep. Yes, okay, beautiful. Okay, so see this right here? This is Podsol, which actually, uh, basically things just grow really fast on this. So I'm wondering if we just leave a sapling on there, like it, we might just get it in a minute. Okay, well that is not the tree we were hoping for, but also great. We should probably fill this in first though. I just don't wanna risk losing like our only potential sapling through the floor. I don't really want birch, but we've also let it sit here. So I guess we'll just let the night pass. Wow, okay, that was actually pretty quick. Am I a lover of the birch log? No, I'm gonna be honest. I, I really, I don't care for birch log. I've said it many times before, I'm a member of the spruce gang, but at this early in the game, I'll take what I can get. And we can continue. That's gonna be a third cow. This was the first tree, you know, two days later, kind of slow, but nice to see it's finally grown up. So our main issue with growing trees right now is just that we only have one torch. You know, we might just want to chunk them all together. It won't grow a tall one, but they will grow side by side, which is nice. Oh my goodness. 
it's a chicken. Now, I'm always very torn when it comes to these fellas. On one hand, chickens are great, because one chicken will give you an infinite amount of chickens. But they also just tend to make a huge mess. So we definitely want to get them over and into here. What a good lad. Pumpkin seeds and an oak sapling. Oh, second chicken. And with 38 dirt, I guess we're actually just gonna have to clear this out. Now we can fill it in with dirt. There. I feel like that really brings things together nicely. Okay, I, actually, I still don't have grass though. So for now, we will just make a slight change to this. This will only be a temporary thing until grass spreads to these other sections. Ooh. That's two trees. Ah, and there comes the rain. Well, I feel like that does a really good job of sort of cementing our first floor as like a plain section, but I really think that we should also start a home. Maybe we will platform up. Ah, uh, but that's tough with the trees, isn't it? Ah, I don't like that. All right, so that's gonna be the start of our second floor. We definitely need to be efficient with this, so we'll use slabs. This is kind of weird looking, but um, it's the start, and and look at that. We we do have things growing. Wood production is actually coming along very nicely. So that's gonna be another sheep, which seem like so close to resembling Nifty Smith colors, but also, you know, not. Yeah, I think we'll just continue with this since we can get log from the one walk. So ladies and gentlemen, the wood production has been cranked up to a maximum. And in my hand, I actually have over 64 oak logs plus another 18. Wow, look at that. You know, the timing with this game sometime is just truly ironic. I spent my entire day chopping down miniature trees and now finally I get something that's gonna give me like an insane amount of wood. I mean, I'm not complaining, but you know, technically I, I am complaining. Cool, so that is, uh, that, that's like the base of a house. Maybe we should just ladder it for now. I think that works. Now uh, for this next floor, I, I guess we'll just like make it a straight house, you know, like just one giant area that's that's home. Part of me is starting to think that maybe we don't want this to be like just house, or you know, maybe rather like a floor of this chunk that is, you know, a house with, with some dirt and stuff. Okay, so it's not quite there yet, but like maybe we could just get at least like the front to look dirt-like. Oh, a grass block. That would actually be a really good start. Just thinking like anything that we can do to keep this from being a complete square is is good <laughs> now i am going to proceed to square this up quite a bit and now at least you know we can step out here and sort of get the feel that that it's like a outdoor area <laughs> don't currently have windows but maybe we'll do something like this just to at least start out all right, that's one side done. We got some fresh logs to get chopping. It's also really nice to know that things can still grow down here. That'll be enough for our second side. And after a little more tree grinding, that is gonna be enough to finish off our walls. Should probably fill in this top layer. No, I, I, th I think considering like what we've got so far, that is a really nice start. Yeah, as for this front section, I wanna add like, just kind of like a, I don't know, we call this like a deck roof or something. There, you see what we sort of got going on? It's like, uh, you know, just a, a front porch, I guess. Got some doors. That looks stupid. Uh, I think that looks best. So that does it for walls. I was thinking about doing a wooden roof too. I'm just nervous that it's gonna look a little bit boring. So maybe we should just be content with this for now. But we can get started on storage. And you know, just making this a generally functional place. Guess we don't have much else we can make without cobblestone, but one thing we can do is get a composter. I actually got quite a few saplings. I wonder how hard it is to get bone meal with this. Oh, it's a bit of a process. Oh, that's actually, you know, probably not a worthwhile trade-off, but that's one piece of bone meal. Oh, we've got two pieces of wheat. We can place those back. I don't know if we need to go quite so hard with logs anymore. Grab two juicy melons. Some more seeds on the go. Now, I'm gonna just move this torch, I think, over to here, just to let this try to grow up a bit more. And grab some apples. We got two eggs. Golden carrot is like a nice backup thing for saturation. And I guess we could get started on storage. One block always requires a ridiculous amount of storage, so we want to nail this from the start. All right, that should be good. I'm not sure if this is our last block. Ha we did it! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the caves biome, otherwise known as we don't have to use a wooden pick anymore. We'll go ahead and make that 
spicy. Let's just go ahead and do it all. Now you may or may not know, but this next biome gets a little dangerous. The biggest issue with this is that creepers will spawn and blow up your base. So the responsible thing to do would be to make oak fence, right? Because I think then if a creeper spawns, like it's just gonna be stuck in there. Okay, yeah, we can't grab it, but <sighs> I guess what we'll do is just do like a session of breaking. We can pop in, grab it, pop out. Oh, oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the first iron, the second iron. Can I get a third? No, well, if that's the case, I think I know what we'll do. We get two iron ingots and we'll just use one to give ourselves a shield. That way we're at least safe from everything. No guarantee of the animals, but it should be enough. Oh, let's go. I find it weird that a mushroom would spawn in the second biome, but I'm also not mad. We have wheat now, so that'll be easy enough. Now, the majorly exciting thing about this is now we have access to a really good food source, mushroom stew. So yeah, things are coming along very nicely. Mushroom number two, and just to be safe, we'll grab a third. Oh, look at that. Oh, now this is just really tense, cause like I know that it's coming, I just don't know when. Oh, multiple zombies, see? I'm glad we did this. You know, working smarter, not harder. Oh, some early amethyst, wow. This really is a different one block. We really should place an azalea. I think that's enough space for it to grow. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that I feel like because it's there, we want to grab them. They're going to jump off though, you know? <laughs> okay, there's two in there. Maybe they won't hop off. Okay, there is something we can do. You can't tame them, but you can breed them with dandelions. Look at that. Little baby bunny. Now, we did find coal, which means we can finally, and I really need to emphasize, finally, lay down torches. Oh, you feel that instantly. See, now all the grass and stuff is gonna be able to actually grow. The trees will grow at night. And while I don't think there was ever a risk of things spawning up here, it is nice to just kind of like, you know, put that to rest. I don't have to worry about it now. Oh, and what perfect timing for these guys to show up. We definitely have insomnia. Okay, the question I need to ask myself, is this, is this something I wanna deal with? Two. Oh, we got him with the hoe! Okay, I know whenever we fight the Ender Dragon, I say cracked with a bow, but I don't know, guys. Might have to change that term. So we do have three ingots. I think this is the right call. Thanks to good RNG, we can make ourselves an orange bed. And I think we will just sleep it off. Nice, so day eight. Gonna feel a lot better tackling this in the sunlight where I know things may have a chance to burn. Probably, ooh. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's calcite, cool. That's actually gonna make for a great building block. Ooh, some amethyst shards and two pieces of string. One more, we can make a bow. Let's get that good RNG. There's another zombie. Think that means we'll be getting more dangerous mobs soon. Dang, and storage is already starting to get complicated. I'm just gonna item frame some of the things I know we'll be going to quite often. Oh, I didn't realize, but we got a leather cap with about one durability left. Looking spicy. Really glad we, we put up this fence. Just gonna have to come in, smack him, run away. Uh, oh, two hits, that's all it took. There we go. So that is gonna be enough for a bow. And yes, we can even get eight arrows. We may as well just make this as safe as possible. Like, I think the creeper is the biggest worry. I'm not too scared of a skeleton. Oh, okay, books are really big. Uh, more, more feathers. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. We got another cap with more than one durability. Really going up in the world. But more importantly, 15, 16 pieces of iron. We're just gonna go for a chest plate. And I think our second piece will be actually a pickaxe. That's a start on armor. I think I'll hold on to the rest of these. Uh, well, a moment of prayers for our rabbit. Do I genuinely care? Not at all. No, no, I don't. Rabbits are kind of dumb, if we're being honest. Hey, okay, I think that is gonna be it. Oh, budding amethyst, nice. Spruce saplings, let's go. And we got an empty map, we ready? Wow, that's our world. <laughs> Here, just to uh, give us a little morale, we'll, we'll place that there. So I think getting some more spruce saplings should be like major priority. 
Only thing is I don't know if they will spawn with this uh, like height level. Just to be safe with that, I'm gonna do something kind of weird and place one way up here because the next thing I wanna do is finally build that roof. We have, a, oh, 64 cobble. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. This room is 14 by 12. In total, that's 168 blocks. Oh, there's 35 more. Okay, that puts us way closer. Maybe we can use some diorite slabs. Combine that with calcite. You know, we've got calcite as well. I don't have a plan. I'm just going for it. And it doesn't even look very good. I think we're just gonna have to do more before we can know whether it's good or not. Right, so I don't think it's something that I would say is like gonna be looking impressive to the Minecraft community. Let's say that. You know, like no one's gonna be posting about this in subreddits, um, but maybe we could just make it slightly better. I think the biggest problem is it's just not tall enough to really look like a roof. But for now we are quite limited on resources, so it's really the best we're gonna be able to pull off. Actually, from the inside, it feels a little bit better. And I'm actually pretty happy with this area out here. Now, as far as ingots go, that's 16. Our goal was to get iron gear. Yeah, I, I think that's worthwhile pulling off. Yeah, we'll even do a sword. Still gonna lean on stone tools, but we'll use the iron for major tasks. And with 10 left, ooh, let's do leggings. To me, that feels like the base minimum amount of armor you want for hardcore. Also, considering that we have this kind of penned up, we, we should be pretty safe. Now, one last little thing I'd like to do for out there is actually bone meal it. Actually, we'll bone meal down here, grab some flowers, and you know, we can just start a small garden. Got the dandelions, let's go. You know, it's something. Next thing I'm gonna do is breed the sheep. This is getting very, very hectic. Yep, yeah, nice. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to make a lot of changes. Anyway, final task is to get started on a new floor. I'm actually going up here because our spruce is ready. So odds we get three saplings from this are ridiculously low. That's one. For now, this can actually be the spruce growing place because this is not where we're doing our next floor. <gasps> That's three? Oh my goodness, this is massive. We can place four and that will get a large spruce to grow. The timing on this might take a while, but eventually it will come to uh, happen. We'll see what we can piece together for bone meal. Are melons like good for bone meal? Oh, they are pretty good. Nice. Oh, that's massive. Dang, melon gang, let's go. I think we should plant more. Bell meal can be very big for the start of a run. Okay, that's five. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. What an absolutely monumental dub this is. The amount of wood we are about to step into. That is over a stack of logs? Oh, heck yeah, we're good. We can get it down on the podsel. That's another four. Like I said, this is monumental. And not just because we have wood in general, but you see now, oh, we can get started on the next floor down. And I guess we can start with slabs. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall off. I just have to keep my finger on the shift button. My, my heart rate is like marginally elevated right now. I wasn't really wanting this to be wood simply because we've got creeper spawning right there and I just feel like it should be maybe a more like durable material. We're gonna maybe build a little bit further down. We'll do one, two, three, four, and basically just do the same thing. So I'll explain things a little bit better now. The one thing I find annoying about one block is having to constantly empty your inventory. So I wanna make an auto sorter that puts our inventory eventually down here. And to do that, we should probably give ourselves a lot of space. So this is thinking very much ahead into the future, but I think it will pay dividends. And also there is a case to be made that we might wanna make like a stone ceiling or something just to give us some blast resistance. So we'll bring the world border back in. And and let's get laying. We can finish this up, but there is lightning uh, amongst us. Fortunately, we have so much copper. I think we'll just go with the safe play and make a uh, lightning rod. I don't know, let's say right here. Will that keep us out of harm? Gonna scooch on by. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best spot for it. Okay, well, things light on fire. Um, I'll 
hopefully no. And I guess it's raining, so it should be all right. You know, it's not amazing, but it is a start. Biggest thing is I just don't know if I want this to be a wooden room. So I don't think I want to decorate it any more than this. And while yes, this is really putting a dent in our iron axe, I think it's worth it. You know, we may as well just use it now to save us time. But at the end of the day, we do find ourselves punching and that really doesn't have me too amped to take down that one. Dude, look how much, we don't even need that. It's fine. Well, I think that's pretty much we had in mind for getting through the caves biome. So let's go ahead and break this. And we have an upgrade. Now, our next thing is dirt. Snow. Gold. Is this just fancy cave? Is this is this like lore cave? Gray terracotta? Hi there. I know what you want to do, but I'm going to have to ask you to not. Oh. Oh, look, it's fine. Let's just continue on and figure out what this biome is. Look, we've got a lot of terracotta. I feel like it's kind of just like a mixed bag of stuff. You know, useful blocks, decoration blocks, strays. What? What? Oh my gosh, I don't have my shield on. Oh, wow. I was not really ready for that at all. Oh, but on the bright side, we got two bones. Hey there. <gasps> I feel like that was an intentional implementation by the game devs, and if so, very smart. Nice, because that still leaves us with one bone for more bone meal. All right, now let's get to work. All right, we've got an Arctic Fox. He has my iron. We'll get that cooking up right away. Ah, oh, we've got a chest with some sweet berries. I uh, don't have a use for that right now. Look, so right now, we're just mining. We're doing our thing, but I'm really hoping we can get a lot more iron. We're not even through the third biome, but storage is kind of killing me. So a big goal right now is to get a consistent source of iron, which is definitely not going to be through mining. We're gonna need villagers to make an iron farm. Oh, wow, that is a polar pair. Just do your thing. <gasps> okay, there's iron. So that gives us 15 total, uh, three hoppers. I would say realistically, we probably want 20 to even start a real like auto sorter, but we should be able to channel our inner basic and come up with something for now. Bear with me for now. This is gonna be like borderline cringy how bad it is. We don't have a lot of hoppers, so we just gotta make do with what we've got and um... <laughs> okay, let's see how this works. Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a way around this. What we gotta do is just move this all over by one. These middle chests are basically just extending our length. And then, boom. <laughs> so we break that. Water goes here. Break that block. Okay, well, I didn't consider animals, but <laughs> it is working. And while it may not be the fanciest thing you've ever seen, it does work. <laughs> Wait, what? It's not working. No, I put a slab right there. Oh, it needs to be pouring out there. Okay, I think we've got it. See, it kind of gets stuck there, but then it goes down. Then it goes down and it goes Okay, it's working. <laughs> right, so just a little more finagling, and we have got it, I believe. It takes a little bit, but as you'll see, they do eventually go down into the hopper. And yeah, we've got our stuff in here. It's a start, and as we get more iron, we can make this a whole lot more complicated. Okay, I don't know when this happened, but I think one of the strays must have dropped a fairly durable iron helmet. So yes, I, I will take that. Thank you. Right, so we've broke quite a few blocks. I just want to take a peek at this. Wow. All right. Actually, let's bring these homies on down here. Let's give them some, uh, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. We got a puppy. This level is just an absolute mess. Like there's, there's too many animals. We're trying to make food over here. There's rabbits getting just chopped apart. How did they even get out? I, I don't really know. So we have six iron. Honestly, the thought of not having iron tools now is like terrifying to me. So I'm gonna use that for two more tools. I think we should think about moving all this stuff downstairs. I really thought this was gonna be storage, but just having to take stuff from down here and you know, and bring it up, not the play. It's actually quite terrible. Actually, before we tackle that, I'm gonna try for just a little more iron. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh, dogs, gonna need some help here, lads. Need the apples. Yes, dogs. Oh, they got, they got some armor. 
All right. Oh my god, my water block got destroyed. What? How? What? How does water? What? You're attacking my sheep? How dare you? I just think that is an oversight by the game developers. That is very not chill, dude. They they took our water block. That's another dog, if it survived the fall. It did, and it didn't kill the chickens, really? Okay, sure. Wow, that was actually like quite a big setback. And it's not like we'll never get water again, but, ah, oh, man. It just sucks, because like we don't even have sand. Like if we had sand, we could have made glass bottles, filled them up with our water source block, put them in a cauldron, got more water, but we don't, so we couldn't, right? So we can say for sure, this is gonna be our storage floor. And so that means I wanna get all this stuff down there. Now, I guess a lot of it is gonna be fairly easy. Like that's literally just a chest of dirt. I don't know, it's really just item movement. It's it's not gonna be too bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be everything transferred, except for everything in here. First thing I wanna do is use these rabbit hide to make leather. That'll give us two more item frames. The nice thing about this is, you know, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's just continually coming in, like dirt, you can just leave a dirt there. You know more dirt's coming, but it allows us to really easily sort out like all the more niche items that aren't quite in that category. No matter what, this just makes our life so much better. Getting things into a chest rather than hand walking them up and back. Oh my goodness. Now, sure, it's certainly not perfect, but some may say it's a step in the right direction. What's up with blocks of raw iron? Oh, oh, that's big. Look at that, firing up. I mean, it makes sense when you think about it because every other block of something is, you know, nine. Um, I've just never encountered one before. Uh, seven is a lot, but I think we need to do it. We'll set a cauldron up here, start hoping for some rain, maybe. While I'm up here, I will do some wood chopping. And with all that said, I think it's time we get back to the grind. The old fashioned way, without water. I do have sweet berries though. <laughs> I was not expecting that to go the way it did. I was honestly kind of sick. Oh, nice. That was spectacular timing. Well done, buddy. Oh, no. Okay, we made it through and no water. Oh, it's really feeling like they might be kind to us. Oh, that's ice. Yes, let's go. Woo. Uh, it's still just one piece, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, absolutely no sand yet. But let's just say we were to break this. I feel like what comes next could be desert. Also again, as we wait, please subscribe. Deep Slate Caves, that is not sand. I mean, Deep Slate is great, to be honest. Actually, I love that for us, but it's not sand. I guess the thing is, if we see the message, we just gotta, we, we gotta act fast to grab the water. We've learned from our mistakes and look at that. Ooh, lapis, let's go. Okay, cool. Our system is back to working. Whoa. Oh, my boots. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Okay, first chest, not all that good. That's too bad. I was hoping maybe we'd get lucky. So we got a few more item frames. It's a small victory, but it really does a lot for me. This guy over here, this is just like our junk drawer, like our miscellaneous random stuff. That is every chest in use. Oh my gosh, we have so much copper. I think we should actually do something with it for once. And we'll just take a hopper for a very brief moment. Is that there? Oh, copper in. Sure, that's a good start. So I think the next thing we need to do is honestly just get more space. Things are just really starting to feel cramped. So I like having a floor for storage. I'd like a floor for animals. We could make like an actual farm floor. So I guess at this point, we've really just got to work with the resources we have. And the main thing is gonna be spruce. So we're basically just doing exactly what we did last time, except this floor only needs to be four tall. Cool, another generic, very basic looking floor. And I actually wanna try a different concept for a floor this run. So it's a little different, but I kinda like just having the stairs like beside each other. And so basically the plan is to have this just continuing on, zigzagging all the way down to Y equals minus 64. Actually, don't hold me to that. I have no idea where we're gonna get. You get the idea though. So now we get to move our animals. The wheat lovers will come first and this shouldn't be too hard. That's gonna be everyone. But I think we should have dirt for farm animals, right? Yeah, maybe we didn't really play this super 
smart. Actually, the only animals that need grass is, is this lad right here. I think we'll keep this the animal floor. That's gonna be the cow den, the poor little single sheep den, and mushrooms. Nice, that's actually pretty clean. Rabbits, there we go. So I went ahead and brought these polar bears down. There's a lot of room for improvement here, but I like what we're starting with. My biggest concern is that we're gonna run out of space with more animals to come. But for now, there's just not a whole lot we can do. So my next goal is to focus on this floor. And so we are going to get started on this like so. You might be wondering, what is the thought process behind this? Well, we don't have it yet, but eventually we're gonna have unlimited water and we could fill all this in like so. Then we put dirt here, and this just gives us a really effective farm as we'll be able to walk over the water. And at the very least, we can get a start on this along with the start on this section. So we'll also go ahead and switch up the melon game. I don't know if this is the plan, but we may as well just get a start on this too. We can make a composter and even use some melons. Grab bone meal, and it's a start. We have bone. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have so much bone meal. Look at that. Nope. I mean, look at that. Now, I think the next question is what is this floor gonna turn into? I think I kind of want to have it dedicated to like dealing with the various nasty mobs that are going to start spawning through the progression of this. But we don't really have the assets for that yet. So instead, I'm going to grab this water. We are going to place that here. And we're gonna get back to grinding this block. Whoa, there it is. But I can do this. Ho oh, ho, easy. Yeah, this is a great setup because it gives us just like a little extra time to respond to stuff like that. Oh my goodness. The day has come. 22 days. But finally, are you ready for this? We have one, <laughs> one diamonds. Look at this beautiful boy. Would you like it? Oh, uh, okay, okay, sorry. Nope, no, nope, you just... Okay. Yeah, I, I can't do anything with this diamond. We will hold on to it. We will cherish it. Oh, that is definitely not a diamond. Get off me. Maybe I should add another thing there? We'll see what happens. That is another diamond. This guy can't get out. Okay, can we have two? Yes, that is, let's go. I'm literally bawling. Now, you're probably thinking we've got three why don't we make a pick? And to that I say we're gonna hold off, because we can always get picks from villagers, but villagers cannot give you enchanting tables. So we'll get back to it. Oh, there goes the pick. Oh, we have 17 iron? Oh, jungle sapling. Ooh, another block of raw iron? Oh my goodness though. That is the one thing, they are really hooking it up with iron. <gasps> okay, Ooh. Ooh, there's another one that makes five, six. Oh my gosh, seven, eight. Let's go. Wow. Okay, that's massive. It is time. We have officially secured the diamond pick. Now, whether I'm going to use it all the time, I don't know about that yet, but it's a step in a very integral direction. Anyway, that is fine, and I think we might call it right there because we have acquired a lot of various deep slate blocks. We've also got quite a bit in here already, and I'm starting to wonder whether we want to make this room out of something that's, you know, a hard material. I want to make this area like a hostile mob control chamber that also acts as like a filter for items to go down to the next floor. And so I think a really big starting point for that would be with deep slate slabs. We'll also go ahead and remove this trim. At this point, you're probably thinking like, hmm, this is looking awfully inconsistent. Like, you're really going to keep grass here? The answer is obviously uh, no. The thing is, um, I'm pretty sure this is still our only dirt block. Oh, no, we have dirt block here. So once we get silk touch, we'll be able to pick that up and put it wherever we want. And that means I'm not gonna have any qualms about breaking this. So everyone, please say farewell to the original layout. It's gotten us very far, but there comes a point in everyone's life where you gotta move on. And you gotta say hello to the old checkerboard layout. Yeah, definitely still needs work. That actually looks pretty cool. Right, we can still place water in there. Still not done, however. You see this up here? My intent is to turn this into a villager hall. And if we've got explosions and ghasts and all kinds of crazy stuff happening down here, let's just say we're gonna be sued by the villagers union for a unsafe workspace. So... 
That's a start. It should stop most explosions, I think. The plan for now is to also remove these. We really want to make sure this is like a consistent vibe through and through. I just don't think logs really fit it. Now, as for a replacement, kind of feels like deep slate bricks. Yeah, I could see this coming together. Like it's not there yet, of course, but that makes sense. It's a good start. Let's get back to it. Definitely getting the blocks we need. Oh, grab that. Okay, so they did break it. Oh, oh, we do have some climbers, but that's okay. Right? This is, oh, that is, uh, that is all my arrows. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Got my arrows. Oh, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. Kill him. Creeper down. Beautiful. That was a learning experience. The best part of this learning experience is uh, the hopper didn't break. That's awesome. And we obviously didn't lose our water. And even better, I'm not sure if it like completely broke these slabs. Yeah, we even got our deep slate wall back. Oh, that's fantastic. That, like, that is very manageable. I'm gonna grab our feathers, make some arrows. And that's great, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it handled its first stress test well. Now, in other news, despite not having water, these crops are slowly growing. We can get more cows. And the other thing I think I need to get on more is uh, this sheep here. You know, I'm realizing this guy's not gonna be able to grow now that I've done that. And we don't have a dirt block. Well, turns out this is gonna be a very lucky sheep. Seeing as this is the only spot with grass, uh, we'll also get two dogs situated over here. And I think today we're just gonna get after getting more blocks to uh, finish this up. Okay, that's another diamond. I'm gonna let it go through the thing. Except now I'm having anxiety, so I need to grab it. In the hopper, hello. Now, that's actually gonna be quite a few blocks. So we can at least go ahead and finish this up. I think the next step is gonna be fixing these slabs here. Now we've got enough to fill this section, but not here. And honestly, I'm just gonna keep using these tiles since we've got them. So, you know, it's uh, a steady process, but certainly slow work. Another diamond. Oh, that was a little close. Oh, there's a diamond there. Diamond secured, second diamond secured. Ladies and gentlemen, this, uh, I, 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 at least I don't think, I don't think this is a drill. Let's get double torches on that, come on. Regular ice, not blue ice, not packed ice, just ice. No! Oh, never mind. We've hit the end. Get some pretty spicy things in here. Two more diamonds, a golden apple, all kinds of things you love to see. And in other news, I've gone ahead and finished the roof. It's again, certainly still not done, but we're making progress. Haven't removed this yet because I think we're getting villagers soon and I wanna be able to walk them up. Also, we could finally finish out our iron gear and I think I'm ready to get to work on a few more projects. Okay, so I lied and I was off screen and I accidentally hit this and now we're going into the next phase. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next phase is lush drip caves. You know, I had plans to do stuff, but I am getting some ideas with this dripstone block. So I don't think you can actually make stalactites, but I'm wondering since we have lush cave that maybe we'll get a chest that actually has them. Ooh, another diamond, couple diamonds. Come on, game, just give me the chest. You know you want to. All right, we'll try out the diamond pick. I don't want to wear it down too much. Oh, wow, okay. Got through to the defenses. I'm impressed. Anyway, I'm not gonna let anything distract me from getting the item that we need right now. Illuminated chest, that's not what we need. Oh no. <laughs> if I could just get pointed dripstone. Oh no, more fish. I'm sorry, fish, I can't save you. Whoa, gold axolotl, cool. I mean, these things are cool, but they're also so annoying. Get out of my way, I'm trying to harvest blocks. More diamonds. Oh, it's not gonna be good, is it? You know, the zombie spawn egg will be useful at some point. I know exactly what we're gonna use that for on like day 60. Oh no, no, rip to the fish. I just need to take this out fast. That is a ripperoni. Just a man grinding blocks, looking for water. Okay, blue axolotl, that's cool. I kind of forgot you can just put axolotls in the, the bucket. Is that it? Oh! <gasps> 
Let's go! You know what? We're gonna do this so that we can save the fish. This becomes that. Next, we have that. I believe a cauldron goes there. There we have it. That it's filling up. Well, guys, look at that. It's coming along. In the meantime, we're gonna make a diamond axe. All right, let's go. It's like literally that easy. We just needed the right blocks. So we can set this back. There is our infinite water. It's so incredible. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna finally go ahead and get our crops really cooking. All right, that's gonna be completely filled in. So we have sugarcane sections for when that comes up. Ooh, it feels good, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we're going to change that up. Melon seeds kind of have to go across like this. We can do pumpkin across this side, maybe? Yeah, we'll just do wheat in the middle. And I mean, honestly, since we don't have sugarcane here yet, we may as well just plant some melons. I mean, why not, right? It's, it's better than nothing. Wow, that really is excellent. There we go. For now, I think we'll just set up some weird and wonky infinite water. Oh, what the heck? Next up, we can use our wheat to get some more cows. I'm gonna put my diamonds in here. And now officially, we have a waterlogged chest. Can't get blown up. Now, the other thing you've probably been wondering. Patrick, you have got water. You've got a decent amount of iron. Is it time to make an auto sorter? Sadly, the answer to that is still no. But I am wondering if it might be time for a slight upgrade at the very least. Wondering if maybe we could do something like this. See, and now this is kind of our sorting chest. Let's go ahead and break this. 60 seconds because next up ladies and gentlemen we have the ocean floor okay that's actually really hype because that means we can make a new cool floor with new cool stuff before we get there though i want to make this area a little better polished deep slate and so basically i want to double up on what we've got going on here. The idea is that we're adding a second safety layer for when mobs spawn. Right, because what will happen on the next one as we've been seeing is it kind of just breaks like a few blocks. I think it's a, a, a two out in each way. So that would break there to there. The wall will remain untouched and everything should theoretically just stay in here. And so if we get carpet mixed with more carpet, that looks all right, we can get in a note. Blocks? Oh, we can even break blocks from here. Oh, that is clean. Also, I'm, I'm very curious what's going to happen to that coral. Okay, well, the coral is dead. And this idea is not dead. Ah, so we can break stuff. And then, yeah, nice. I don't know if I want to dive into this biome just yet, because I kind of want to try to make our first enclosed location. I don't even know if we could pull it off. All right, well, we can get one block around, and we could do calcite. Yeah, won't lie, that looks a little weird. Uh, we just don't really have a lot else of, of anything. Snow block, concrete, not enough terracotta, tough. Granite and a site. Uh, it's furnaces that we want. Right, so what do we think of that? Actually, I, I think I might have a viable solution. What about using wood like we have, but then smooth stone? Um, we just don't have a ton of options and it feels not terrible. Like, I just don't want everything to be made of spruce log. Then we could just go for stone actually allow us to double up production. Yeah, we'll try to make some stone. You know, you can always turn it into smooth stone later. So let's try stone brick. It's just a little more cohesive. I think it makes the most sense to just move this over here. I don't know. This just feels like a good, safe place to fight monsters and mine blocks now. And you know, if this is section number one of the block complete, I think we can very comfortably view this as section number two complete. Right, don't get me wrong, we still got a ton of work to do here and all the corresponding floors down below, the ones yet to come. But to have another room completely finished, it feels great. Right, so let's get back to it. We are on to the ocean biome. That is a turtle. For now, I'll just scooch this guy over here. Oh, that's a sponge. Okay. Oh, well, that's going to be ridiculously annoying, but all right. Put that in there. Oh. Hi there. That's uh, actually quite rude. Can't say I really love the mining fatigue. Oh, you are strong. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to kill this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Was not expecting this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's strong. Where's a golden carrot when you need it? There we go. Wow, that was intense. 
I think we're gonna need more wall. First, I will grab some milk. And I think we're gonna at least need to fill this back wall in. All right, see, this is like the things I was considering. I just honestly wasn't expecting an Elder Guardian so soon. We'll see what this does. I mean, it's probably just gonna bounce out one way or another. All right, see, this is kind of like what I was more so expecting. And yeah, sure, it can get out, but it's still like a little stuck in here, you know? The wall helped. Ooh, they're not throwing, but these are really dangerous. Nice, that's what we were hoping for. Gotta watch that trident, but very nice. Wow, this is like majorly deadly. We've got one salmony boy. That's two turtles. Okay, that is a tropical fish. You know, I'm thinking maybe we should secure these turtles before we continue with this and get like a big explosion or something. Wow, hey, look, wasn't that easy? For you. Anyway, that clears this up a little bit. Oh, so we've got a ghast spawn egg. Why I would ever want that, I don't know. Is there a ghast spawn egg thing I'm missing here? This like makes it a big deal. I am sorry, glow squid lovers, but I do love me some glow squid ink. Oh, here we go. See, the wall is kind of, okay, Never mind. the wall has failed us. Just got a snipe, done, nothing, let's go. Oh. Oh, it's a sentient life form. I can't just let this guy like die. Oh, Mr. Dolphin, how are we gonna save you? I've gone ahead and I've made something. Come over here. That is a safe, safe-ish dolphin. And there's two more. Wow. Okay. You guys better get yourself to water. What happened? to the other dolphin. My man, you have gone a long way from home. Tell you what, buddy. <laughs> wow, dolphins be real glitchy. Why are you so dumb? Yeah, so anyway, I don't really know what happened to that other dolphin. But anyway, these guys are good, they're chilling, and really, that's enough. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't love this. I am in extreme danger. Wow, gosh, normally these things would just jump off the map. Oh my god. But because we have a single a single chunk, they're 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 capped to the world border and uh, it's really bad for us. Uh, what I need right now are dogs. I need all the dogs. I need all the dogs, all dogs on deck. Dogs, please help me. Please help me, buddy. Nice. Alright, the dog squad is doing well. Let's get the others. It's time to take on the trident, boys. Get him. Finish him off, lads. Not wolf, no. I got him. But we got a trident. That's another trident. All right. Well, I've got a lot of sorting to do. And the lads really pulled through for us today. And it's a great day because now we have new lads. Now, in other news, we're like almost all out of food. But small bright side is our crops have come in. And so while it doesn't quite have the same punch that meat packs, that's a decent amount of bread. Don't get me wrong, I hate eating melons. But it is an easy food source when you don't need saturation. So ladies and gentlemen, I did a thing. We made it through the ocean biome and our reward is a golden apple and a another trident. Now look, I'm, I'm happy with this floor. I'm even happy with this floor, but everything below this to me just feels like structural support beams holding things up until we get cool blocks to fill everything with. And it just so happens we now have some cool blocks to fill things with. So I am pleased to announce our next floor is Prismarine. So we need to start this off with a lot of Prismarine slabs. Okay, we are gonna use everything we brought down, that's for sure, and beautiful. We don't have enough blocks to make walls. That's pretty cool. It's not bad. Biggest issue is just the roof. We can stone cut stairs. That actually is gonna save a few resources. There. We do have a lot more prismarine slabs. I suppose we could start to fill this in. But as for the rest of this, I think we're just gonna have to wait. The game will slowly give you more blocks and who knows, we might just have to fill it with something else. But for now, um, we're gonna leave it like this. Now, seeing as we have like eight tridents, I just need to test something. Um, let's use this one. I need to know. Okay, that is gone. So, if we want to use a trident, we have to be careful. I mean, you could use it in this room safely. Anyway, new biome. Desert. 
That's actually pretty exciting. I'm very up for that. It's like terracotta, sandstone, that sort of vibe. Before we get into it, I'm gonna have to do some sorting. And uh, my next thought is actually not so much that I want to get into this, but rather that I think I would like to just go for it and try to fix one of our floors. Now, I have major stone plans for this floor. I think this is just the place we're gonna want to be like very secure, but this floor seems like the easier upgrade compared to this. Before we really figure out what we're gonna do though, I need to just assess the blocks we have. We have a lot of copper and amethyst. Well, that's a decent amount of clay. Not really a lot for copper. We have a dumb amount of lapis. Then a decent amount of calcite and diorite. The granite, I suppose, because granite is a thing. Can't forget andesite. I'm hating on andesite, but that's not a bad looking block. Here, this is me assessing our options. I hate to say it, but I actually think andesite might be the winner here. Said I wanted hard stuff for this floor. Well, we've got it. Let's test this out before we go all the way in. That's definitely adding something. Yeah, honestly, I think a little trim adds a lot. Could try granite. Maybe we can also add a sort of center. Okay, how about that? Oh, look, it's not perfect. It's not a total transformation, but uh, it's something for now. We're making do, said a million times, with what we have. I was really hoping for villagers on this one, but I don't think we're gonna get it. Still don't have access to enchanting, but we do have 25 diamonds. So let's make a new pick. Chest plate, leggings. That leaves us with seven. That feels a little more comfy. Cause like, let's not forget, we've been taking some hits. So a little protection is in order. Now I think it's time we grind through this. There's just a lot of stuff that we need before we can make this chunk awesome. And you know, llamas are, um, yeah, yeah, one of them. Sure, we'll go with that. Oh, well, that is actually one of them. All right, my dear villager, it is time. Ladies and gentlemen, finally have a villager in our villager room. No, for real though, it, it feels amazing. So let us continue and I'm sure we're not too far off of some more good things to come. Like an emerald, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, okay, we're getting into some real stuff. And there we have the big lad Franklin. All right, I'm gonna need to grab string, turn that string into three pieces of wool. That way we can make another bed and our sheepy boy will give us enough for another. You know what? I'm actually a bit of an advocate for this llama coming up here. So let's just, let's just roll with that. We'll make a third bed, give this dude three bread, Angela three bread, and in the morning, we will get our third villager. Oh wait, there's actually a chance we'll get more. So I had better do another bed just to sort of preemptively get on this. Now, fortunately for us, I already know what we're gonna start with. The classic fletching table, blast furnace, and a grindstone. Wait, dude, you can't come down here. This isn't your space. You guys are staying up here. There we go. I think we've also, whoa, 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 whoa. why don't you go ahead and make another villager for us. How about that? Hey, right, there we go. We've locked this one in. There we go. Maybe we should actually focus on tools before weapons. We'll go, yeah, with toolsmith. Now I feel like in every single video, we do a lot of talking when it comes to villagers and I don't know how interesting this aspect is. For those unfamiliar, I'll show it once. We cut down our big trees. From here, we use the logs to turn into planks, you turn the planks into sticks, you sell the sticks to the Fletcher, you now have emeralds, and then you use your emeralds for whatever you want. In this case, we just wanna level this person up so that we can get some really good tools. And we do all that work so that we can get a diamond hoe. On the bright side, we have three diamond hoes. We also have easy access to arrows now. Now I'm just gonna get back to grinding our block. Ho ho, third villager. Oh, and second baby villager. And after a bit more trading, we're gonna get Angela all the way up to give us a very spicy pick. I'm breaking three, efficiency three. 
Wow, we've had someone grow up, so I'm actually gonna get a second Fletcher, and that'll give us enough emeralds to get this spicy pick. And so with that massive checkbox completed, we can start mining things at an insanely fast pace. Oh, this is everything I ever wanted in a one block, and hello, donkeys, okay. <laughs> We've actually got a, a special room for you. It's actually down here. Down further. <laughs> ah! What? No! What why is this? 39? Really? Oh gosh, this is like super flat all over again. But worse. Wow, there's my sword. Punching slimes. Oh! That's satisfying. Actually, you know what, Notch? So in other news. I would like some good armor. Actually, I uh, I need a new helmet, so that's perfect. And so an armorer is the next person we're going to be working on, which will be a very easy upgrade into relatively decent diamond gear. Now, as a result of us flying through this, things have got very clogged up. So I'm just going to work through this tonight. Okay. Oh man, this is actually really bad. It's the vindicators I'm worried about. We got some fast boys. Come on, dog squad. I don't really know what to do. Uh-oh. What about the old water trick? The old water trick. I'm just gonna apple up, I think. All right, dog squad. You got the vindicators. You can do this. We got this together. We are a team. Let's go. You guys did so amazing. I'm pretty sure you can change the collars. Yeah. Oh, cool. Now I'm gonna say that was our warning and we're gonna pick up some diamond boots. Franklin, get down from here. You're right next to a lightning rod. We got cactus. That kind of changes everything. We've got uh, an Emma lime dye. What a lime. That's cool. I just really want to get through this because I think there's a chance up next we have lava. Want to make an iron farm? Okay. And there we go. We're done. We made it. Next up, we have jungle dungeon. Can't say that's really giving lava vibes, but I'm pretty sure we should be able to make an iron farm with cactus replacing the lava. So the next thing on our list is iron farm. And I've gone ahead and got some things ready for that. And for this video, we're going to be going way up and using the iconic shulker craft design. So we're going way up just in order to make sure we don't obscure our spruce trees from growing. This is going to be really weird and dangerous, but we got to get these villagers up here then come up to these beds. Yes. And then all the way to the top. Right, so this will serve as the starting point. And we can replace these blocks later. I just want to get them in here before they wake up. Well, this isn't going to be completely finished until we get quartz for repeater and redstone stuff. But our glass has cooked up, which means we can replace these dirt blocks. Right, so there we go. This is where our golem's going to spawn. We have our hopper system there. I need more iron for another hopper. We'll just steal one of these beds. We'll place our third bed down. Last hopper goes there and boom. Now for this next step, we'd normally need stone walls, but because we're gonna try this with a cactus, there's no lava to burn our spruce fence. Basically what we're gonna do is just build like a little containment chamber. Is that gonna actually hurt the golem? Hmm. We might have to do this a little differently. Right, so we'll have to do two chests. So these two hoppers are for this chest, these two are for this one. Sand goes there, and then maybe cactus goes there? Look, I know how to do this for sure with lava, but uh, this is a bit of a learning experience for us. That's what we got so far. Um, the last step is simply just water goes there, water goes there. Right, this is what should happen. Uh, it's gonna be slow. I think though to get this really working, we're gonna need more iron. And look at that, that'll give us two more. Anyway, last step is gonna be making sure there are no other spots where the golem can spawn. So taking away all this dirt. Right, and there is our beautiful platform. So lastly, I think I just wanna build up to this with a ladder. I'll make sure to do this section with slabs. And there, while it's not safe, uh, we have access to it. Last thing I think we need is just some sort of, uh, say additional safety. It's a pretty far way up. It would suck to be killed by an iron farm. And the question is, are we far enough away from the village down there to get iron golems to spawn up here. Right, so I just slid oh snap this iron golem and another one spawned here. Oh no, this could be bad. Wait, so this is seen as a village because there are 
beds. But if we take away the beds, will it not be considered a village? Right, so it still hasn't been working, but I think I have a solution. So we have our zombie spawn egg, and we can place it on that piston like we eventually plan to do. But it's probably going to despawn. So we're gonna need to make a lectern. So we need a librarian. Oh my god, third roll mending. It's kind of pricey, but oh, we kind of got to take it, don't we? Okay, we're going to have to do some more boring villager stuff, but today we can easily get them leveled up. Well, that's going to be one more actually, but we do have protection and silk touch. This librarian is just like low-key unexpectedly goaded. Oh no, I just said goaded. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Book and quills are low-key like insane. What? All right, so there's our name tag. Just got to sell off the entire Canadian lumber industry to afford it. And ladies and gentlemen, there is one name tag. Oh no, you know what we're forgetting. So the problem is we need an anvil to be able to cast the name tag. And to get an anvil, you need iron. So we're going to need to kill some iron golems. I don't know what's going on. Um, I've waited a little bit and I'm not getting a golem. Now, in that case, we are going to have to mine. So while we wait for, I don't know, maybe the villagers have to claim the beds before golems can spawn. And so we should be able to get a decent amount of iron throughout this night. Listen, I don't want diamonds right now. I mean, I appreciate it, but I don't know if I want diamonds right now. Oh, <gasps> I would like you to have some seeds. Yes. You go right there. You you, you stay safe. <gasps> oh, wow. Hi. So cool. How about you take these? Okay. Oh my God. I'm realizing our LA is just like, what is this? That's not a normal... What? I don't know. Can someone tell me in the comment section? Do baby Vex exist now? Nifty Smith Parrot. And a panda. And bamboo. And oh my goodness, sugarcane. Well, I'm going to waste no time getting our sugarcane farm started. Man, what a homie. Oh, thank you. You're, you're so cool. I think this is the first time an LA has appeared in a video. I will name you Baba Booey. Baba Booey. You idiots. Well, guys, morning has come around, and that's gonna be big 8 out of 31 iron ingots. As for the iron golems, it's like, where where are they? What have I done wrong? What have I changed to make this not work? You have three beds, you are villagers. Spawn the golem. Oh, hi there. So, the next part of this video is gonna go something like this. <coughs> Chopper gunner inbound. <laughs> so there's 34. And an anvil. I guess we'll just leave it here. We'll name this person something very innocent and definitely not manipulative. We need our zombie spawn egg. Put a redstone torch here to raise the platform. You just gotta patch this up. Now we wait for the moment of truth. Oh, oh my goodness. And look at that, it's working right away. So this is gonna be sad to a few of you, but uh, let's just see how long this takes. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Okay, that's a little clunky, but it seems to be working. Time lapse. Well, that's like our investment back if you don't count the anvil. And it, look, it's still working. Nice. And so the only difference we really could change is that normally like this would be a repeater that's making it go up and down on its own. But it seems to be working pretty good regardless of that. So we'll just leave it like so. Only other concern that I have is just whether we're gonna be able to have our spruce trees still grow up here. Beautiful. Oh, that's plenty of space. Oh, it really feels like things are starting to come together. At this point, it feels like the only thing that could ruin our run is dying. And that will be our seamless transition into buying two Protection One books. What if we do one and then another for two, I guess? Feels good to me. And we'll do a one down on the chest plate. Feeling even spicier yet? So I went ahead and organized our villagers. And you see this lad right here? With just a few chainmail helmets. We get the level up and we now have access to not very good diamond gear. <laughs> However, diamond gear is diamond gear and diamond gear is better than iron gear. So fire protection, protection, protection two and protection two. I'm feeling all right with that. And so we can now comfortably get back 
to mining our jungle. So over the last few days, my uh, mic has been muted, but we spent our time doing the following. We made a fairly vicious monster party battle, installed a butcher in the basement to give us tons of easy pork chops. While down here, I also decided to get a new librarian and they gave us fortune three. With the fortune three pickaxe now installed, we get such better bang for our buck on the actual block itself. And of course, diamonds. From there, we finished out our jungle chunk and we have made it onto mangrove swamp which is um, very muddy. But with our next section done, I think it's finally time to build. And the first question we need to ask ourselves is, with what? Just feel like there wasn't a lot of jungly stuff we got from this one. Actually, we did get a lot of cobbled deep slate. Now there is quite a bit of terracotta, but part of me thinks we should hold off until we have even more. We also do have a lot of sandstone. I'm wondering if it would be cool to do this as desert. So what this would mostly entail is removing a lot of these steps, replacing it with sandstone steps. And this is super easy since no water pours down. Now, the only other thing we really gotta do is place in this exterior. So we're gonna also want to replace a lot of these other wooden elements. I think another critical change we're gonna have to make is installing a roof. Well, it, it's, yeah, it's basically our option is sandstone. Yeah, so this looks like it has potential, but we're definitely gonna run out of blocks. This is just feeling like the ever present issue with one block. So you just, you never have quite enough to fill in a space. I think if it were filled in, it would probably look quite nice. Now, speaking of filling in roofs. Oh, look at all that. <laughs> ah, we're really going to be able to do a lot, huh? Well, I suppose it is filling it in at least a little bit. Anyway, it's two floors, still not completed. But as I always say, a step in the right direction. Now, as for this floor, I, I have a bit of a plan. See, we've actually got a lot of moss block and also just like a lot of flowers and stuff. So I'm wondering if like maybe we were to replace a lot of this with the moss. Right, so that surprisingly did quite a bit. I think we just are gonna have to like move some of these guys though. I wanna have the main farm animals on this floor. Look, I recognize this is awful, but it makes more sense to have the turtles on the water floor. You know, also polar bears are, are, are ice and ice is water. So I'm fine to have these polar bears down here, but I don't want to set this up because I just, I hate how this looks. I do love how much space this has given us though. Um, our rams were, you know, they were there. But I had a little chat with them. They said they wanted to go to another island. Really sorry, guys. You know, there wasn't time to say goodbye. And actually, I'm at the point where I think I just want this entire middle area to be moss. So for this moment, we're just going to let everybody out. That feels like a much better start. Now, what about all these guys? I feel like donkey is pretty cohesive with that floor. Cool. Yeah, that feels fine. So the only other thing we got to deal with is walls. So this is what I've got. We can make more polished andesite slab. Place that, yeah, there we go. There's our border. Right, so there's the polished andesite. Okay, and that is gonna be complete. You know, we do have green dye. We could dye our single sheep green. Get some of that. You know, there's the carpet. And there, right, that feels a little bit better. So really all else we have are just a bunch of the more exotic animals up here. I don't know. Should we just take everything down here? I guess for now, it's not like we have to actually make an area for anything. We got an ocelot. Come on there, buddy. Nice baby ocelot. Okay, can we control these things though? You know, maybe it actually makes sense to just leave ocelots in here. Because the biggest thing is that creepers like run from them. So I think if we just left them in here, that would keep the creeper at bay. So I think we've done a pretty good job of making things look as nice as we can, obviously given what we have. But the item that I'm just finding myself needing time and time again is actually lava. I want to fill this in with stone brick, but we don't have a lot of cobblestone. The answer to that is Lava. I would like quartz so we can make redstone stuff. The answer is lava. Just going to the nether in general. Fixing our iron fire. We need lava. So we are going to power through this swamp and just pray that on the other side of it is lava. <gasps> oh, Waluigi sheep. Come here, my sheepy boys. Wow, I really thought we might just never get another sheep. This is great. Uh, I'll send you guys up later, because I've got a job to do. Man, we might just have to make a sheep farm. We'll leave them there for now. That was a fast session. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, it's happening. 
We have made it to the nether. Listen, one thing I will tell you guys is as this is progressing, right? You're getting all the blocks from the previous locations as well. And man, it's a lot of filling in. You know, it's a lot of like, oh, one single piece of mossy cobblestone that we got to put away. So because of that, I think I'm going to just like leave some of the significant blocks in. You know, just the things that always have a little something going to it. Very soon, we will be able to make some sort of auto sorter. But in other news, we actually have a bit of stone brick. And I'm curious to see what that would look like through here. Now, you can certainly always do better. But I feel like you can never go wrong with stone brick. There we go. Now let's tackle this nether. Oh, black stone's gonna be huge. Oh my gosh, we're getting so much cool stuff. Oh, oh, and we got obsidian. That puts us at nine left to make it to the nether. Ancient debris. Oh, and we got some slimy boys. Okay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this! Finally, after so long. Now, I think we will continue on with this for at least a little bit. One lava is nice, but ten obsidian means we get infinite. <gasps> oh, that's the big one. Quartz, let's go. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful day. Oh, I take it they don't like water, right? Yeah, they're injured. They're dead. Eh, I wasn't really expecting that, but all good. Oh, wow. Everyone's coming through. Huh. You got anything for me? Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of intense. Wow. And that is why we made this place out of <laughs> mostly stone. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> like, this is actually pretty relatively benign, uh, except from the fire that is happening. This is chaotic. This is why we, we, we did this thing the way we did it. It was really for the nether more than anything else. No, nope, get off me. I need my pork chop. I need my pork chop. I do have fire protection, but this is still... <sighs> oh, wait. What the heck? Where? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa! I think I need a dog. We got any dogs in the house? Got some dogs in the house? Yep, dogs in the house. There we go. There we go. Um, my house is a little on fire, so let's do this quickly. Wow! Oh. <laughs> ha! Right, that got a little crazy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's kind of fun. I, I enjoyed that challenge, but whew, I hear fire for sure. Uh-oh, I think I know what's burning. Yup! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Woo! Is everyone apart from Parrot okay? So that was, um, my biggest fear actually come to life. Really didn't think that that was going to play out the way it did. Fortunately, we should have all the things we need to repair this. And there we go. All fixed up. Hardly took a night. Okay, there's another piece of obsidian. That's going to take us to nine. Oh, they're so close. <gasps> there it is. <gasps> all right. We have the obsidian, we have the flint and steel. Should we just do it? Actually, of all places, normally I would make like a fancy nether portal room, but it's just so loud. Here we go. Oh, I completely forgot. We can't even explore. <laughs> well, if we're here, we may as well try exploring. <gasps> oh, let's go. Okay. Yay, there we go. Grab some lava. And I didn't do the thing. Listen, if you don't know what the thing is, you've probably never played Minecraft before. That's all I'm saying. Real ones know. Oh, wow. There's a lot of guys up here. Holy. There's a lot of guys here. Now, as you guys know, this hasn't been working. Not for a little bit anyway. So I've gone ahead and I've got the things necessary to fix, well, potentially fix this. Honestly, I'm not so sure this is gonna change anything. So lava goes there, walls go up, and I see honestly zero reason why this should work now, but we have changed it. I think there's a bigger issue than just simply the cactus. Why won't you work, Iron Farm? Well, we do now have quartz, so maybe we should attempt to actually rig up some wiring for this. Right, so here is the redstone system. I think we just place this here and this should make like a signal to loop around. Yeah! So you, see, you see what's happening here, right? It, it runs around, it makes this go up and down basically. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, it's working! 
That was so quick. Okay, let's make sure that wasn't a fluke. Yes! We have done it! Oh, yeah! We've got two netherite ingots. I'll just put that in there. I'm gonna chuck down mending on this. Now for our next thing. Remember all these buckets of lava? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's time. First of all, it's time to make a new floor. A floor that's gonna look something like this. Now this time I'm choosing to be a little more smart with our resources. And you can see I didn't bother filling in around here because eventually there's just gonna be a wall there and you can't see that gap anyway. Maybe eventually we'll fill it in, but for now we gotta be conservative. So that looks good. You know, in going with that thinking, I'm realizing we can just take this whole perimeter out. Okay, so it looks a little weird for now. Cool, there's our stairs. And the really exciting thing, I think we're gonna be able to fill this in. Perfect, nice. So now it's time we make a cobblestone generator. I don't know, I'm thinking of just doing something really basic. So this is the design I found from Mysticat. So we've got chest, hopper, stairs. So we waterlog the stairs, fill in another layer of cobble, and then lastly, we just put in some lava right there, and there we have stone. Sign goes there, and look at that. So as you can see, they are filling up, but I think we could make this even better. Oh my god. Oh my god. Literal first try. Dude, this beautiful man right here. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're low on emeralds. Okay. The iron farm is working. We sell iron to this person. There's the pick. And there's the silk touch. Which is not the best economy, but it always beats chopping logs. Even more exciting is the fact that we now have silk touch. So rather than getting cobblestone, we now get stone. That saves us from having to smelt it. All right, so I'm just gonna let this run for like half a day or so. Oh, that was a little more than a day. Oh, <laughs> wow, this really works. Huh, crazy, who would have thought? I think it was worth it. <laughs> Look at all this stone brick. That is okay, I guess. We've got, uh, like, we've kind of got this accent wall going on over here. You know, like this is a utility room through and through. So I kind of like the factory vibe we got going on here. And now that's gonna take us to our next build. The thing we've been talking about since the very start, some form of an auto sorter. I'm not ready, never done this before. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. So the first thing we're gonna do is take all these chests and we're gonna make a whole heck of a lot of hoppers. I'm gonna take this down, then I'm gonna say that's not enough and we're gonna make even more hoppers. Grab all our quartz, stone, and now I gotta go watch a YouTube video because I have no idea what I'm doing. So the very first thing I think think we need to do is kind of sort this back area out a bit. Doing this on a regular world would be complicated, but the fact that we're limited to one chunk is gonna kind of severely limit us. It's not to say we can't do it. I just don't know if we have the room for it to be like truly insane. Yeah, this is a bit of an excavation. <laughs> it's just gonna be a lot easier if we remove some of these blocks. So we start with two chests, two hoppers, two building blocks. Peter goes here. Torch goes there, and comparator there. Pop it points towards the comparator. Three redstone dust, and I think that's basically it. Now, I'm going to name this stone item filter, and I believe what we have to do is fill this in with four, and then basically the thing you want to filter. Let's just say, since we're doing nether, one of the things we want to do is netherrack. So there's 41, if we place one more. We place one. Oh, this isn't working because this block has like a magnetic thing that takes it over to it. So if I want to make sure this works, I'm going to have to do another one. All right, let's try this again. That's staying, so that's a good sign. And if we place those in, yes, look at that. Oh, I guess I could have just done that as well. But yeah, look. So now we basically just want to repeat this a few more times. There we go. Now we just do item filter. Now for the final test. Water goes here. Doesn't go through the first two, but it goes through the third. That's a great sign. Now I'm just gonna break this until we find netherrack. Okay, actually we gotta remove one of these because we're obviously not gonna be able to sort everything with this. So we're still gonna need that basic one going down. There we go. So now I just need to look at what we've been getting and see what would be the reasonable things to sort. It's actually kind of tough because you need 41 of that thing. Now my other question is can you have two things in here at once? You see what I'm saying here? Right? Dirt and cobble, netherrack. I don't know why everything is getting caught on this. Yeah, that's so weird. 
we had more here, if we were, if this was raised a level, like in this case, would it just flow? Oh no! I think I did it one level too low. I think this is what we actually need. It's not a huge error. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, so that's up a level. We're gonna start this out by just putting one item in each sorter. So water will flow that way. So this breaks and it should there. Okay, that's working. I just don't understand why the blocks are stopping here and not continuing on. What if we placed it there? Aha! Okay, that's a big step in the right direction because this should mean all those. Yeah, cool. Now, what if we put in dirt? Oh, dirt goes through and Oh, dirt won't though now, shoot. All right, that's too bad. Okay, so we've basically got a system that can sort five items. And everything else is, I think, going here, right? All right, let's see what happens with this. Uh, okay, it's getting stuck on that now. What if we do it like that? Right, let me send some of that down. Nice. And then that eventually goes into there, beautiful. So, I mean, it's not insane, and it's gonna break whenever we get a monster party, but like, it is an auto sorter. Oh, and look at that, we're through. So we'll grab all our lovely items from here. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have, oh no, what if it's end portal? Okay, we're chilling. Eventually a portal's gonna spawn there, and it's gonna really mess up everything we have just worked towards. Right, so we're gonna have to update this system. So idle is a bit of a random biome. You got bees, honey, and a whole heck of a lot of quartz. So I've gone ahead and I put quartz into our item sorter. Now, if I do this, I, look, I understand I'm like four update lates to ever using bees. All right, well, I'll let the bees do their thing. Oh, and just while we're keeping track, um. Yeah, our iron farm is working now. I think I'm actually at the point where I need to start making iron blocks because we just have so much of it. Oh, this is what I've been not excited for. You know, honestly, this is just kind of annoying. It's like, wow, sick, you just ruined my thing. I spent so much time working on it. I get slimes, like really? This is, this is just a nuisance. If you're gonna send me a monster party, at least make it a challenge. Oh, there go my comparators. You ruined the whole thing. You didn't even... The water? What? Why didn't the water go? What? We got monster bees, which are actually quite fierce. You ruined everything, guys. I spent so long working on this. Fixing these front two is like such a nuisance. And the fact that we're gonna have to do that every monster party, it's almost like not worth it. Like sure, the three in the back are fine. That's no problem. You know, they're good. They're locked in, but man. Just try to sort my things in peace game. Anyway, this version of one block is slightly upgraded from the server. This is like the 1.19 updated version. And I don't believe the server has so many monster parties. Cause you know, the server's like cool and, and we wouldn't do that. Oh, wow. See that guys? This rare chest has a curse of vanishing book. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the deep dark. First of all, I really hope the warden doesn't spawn. And second, we're not gonna tackle that just yet. Oh, what? Dude, this didn't even work. Oh my gosh. You know, it was a really good idea. I, I, I think it had potential, but honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like this method <laughs> with all this stuff in here, in a way is just a little more simple. You know, emptying this is definitely not fun, but compared to my previous one block experiences, this is like incredible. This chest right here is going to officially become my I wanna build with this stuff chest. It's the stuff that I wanna build with. And I think that's gonna be mostly pretty much everything. Oh, I still need to deal with this. This is absolute mess of a floor that just it doesn't make sense why are there animals here i kind of hate it i i don't know what this is gonna be but i think we just have to make another floor for exotic animals my big question is like would it be possible to keep all these weirdly suited animals on this floor and have it look good. I just don't have anything I can fill this in with. The gray is like not the worst over blue. Like it doesn't clash, I guess. So it's like, I don't know if I love it, but I think it's the option I hate the least. I may actually have an aneurysm if these pandas don't get over here. Dude, dude. 
Dude, I have bamboo. What do you want? Where are you going? Bamboo in my hand. In my hand. So anyway, I got these pandas in here. Now, I thought I was gonna have an aneurysm from the pandas. Dude, these turtles, they're so slow. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Get in. Yes! Honestly, I think we should just take these villagers up. All right, there we have it. Now, with that relatively sort of patched up, I would like to move on and start some new floors. Okay, so we're gonna go copper and copper floor. That actually looks kind of sick. Now, the big question. I've never done anything with just straight iron blocks before. How stupid would that idea be? Would it be like really stupid? You know, when we could use this for like a beacon or like literally just anything useful? Or would it be such a flex that it would be cool? Oh wait, actually, I, I just did the math and we can't do this. This really might just end up being the copper room, except we don't have quite enough copper to make it the copper room. Now, we've managed to cook up a decent amount, but that's basically only another stack. We can fill this side and get a pretty good start over here. There, we'll make a second one. That should speed up the process a little bit. And while that cooks up, let's get started on the next floor down. And that is going to be quartz and purple stuff. So once again, we will fill this in. So that's gonna be our floor down. My bigger question is just how we're gonna fill this in. Now, in other news, take a good look at this because it's the last time it's gonna be not oxidized. Ah! There. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely say this is gonna look a little ridiculous. I think we should take our colorful sheep. We'll bring them down here. And I'm gonna make an auto sheep shearer farm. The first thing we're gonna need to do is place down a whole bunch of glass. This is a build from Mortings. Next, we wanna add dispensers. And then we basically just do it again back. Now, remember all this grass? We're gonna need to silk touch basically all of it. And we're gonna have to remove all these lovely looking tiles here. Actually, we're gonna have to just take most of this out. This is basically the top section where the sheep are gonna get sheared. Now, when we go down below, it's actually great that we have a room already here because this is gonna have to be a rail system. So we've got our rail and our mine cart. Anyway, that's a powered rail. So basically it's gonna collect all the wool. The wool should drop in there. I think it's that easy. Oh, we'll just maybe, I don't know, fill this in a little bit just so that it doesn't look terrible. There, that looks all right to me. So I think now we just have to get the sheep in. Let's just grab like two first, right? And then we can do orange in there. I'm forgetting the most important part. Something's telling me we need it like that. So if I put a pair of shears in there then I hit this sheep like so. Yeah, don't find us. We're just literally waiting for the grass to grow right now, right? Cause that's the observer. It should see that light up. So it will send a signal to that to send out the shear and shear the sheep. That, that's how it should work, I think. Uh, uh, why? Why didn't it work? Oh, I wonder if it's because I have slabs here. Alrighty, we're gonna have to try this again, but we've got more grass surrounding it, so that should make things a little bit faster. Do your thing, sheep. Boom. There it is. And so now we just gotta get all our sheep in. And for those wondering, yes. I am gonna do this in rainbow color. I guess you're not really gonna see it, huh? But anyway, it's it's red, orange, yellow, and, and you know that. All right, I think that's everything. Oh man, it's just kind of lame because they're all done. I know what we'll do. This way, the sheep will not be sheared when the grass grows. So now we just wait for the grass to grow. We can also start our rainbow thingy. Okay, yes. There we go, looking better. Come on, my hungry sheep. They're almost there. You do it. You got grass. Eat the grass. Okay. Well, listen. I can't wait for this sheep to eat forever. But uh, yeah, there we go. Check that out. Since the game gave us all the dyes, we were actually able to. I, I'm pretty sure have every color sheep. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, we want to make sure these are all sheared first. And if we check this out, beautiful. I think I might just finish this up with a bit of glass. It's also tricky. I probably should have done it the other way around because like now we've got all this open redstone. But there, yeah, just another layer like that. And now, I mean, can't be walked over at least, you know, because it's like cables. You don't want to walk over cables. So, um, <laughs> turns out the deep dark actually spawns a, a warden on you. Yeah, I don't know if I love 
what's going on right now. And I don't know, is he killing my villagers right now? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Is this... <laughs> is this possible? What if I just keep healing this golem? I mean, eventually he's got to lose, right? Wait, 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 we don't have... Oh, okay, we do have a decent amount of... Oh. <laughs> Oops. That's tough. Why? This is so stupid. Why does this exist? Oh, is he gonna kill my villagers? On the bright side, he is kind of stuck there. So what if I were to just, um, scurry away? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll grab some pumpkins. Make some blocks of iron. Why would you- How do you know I'm here? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro! Thank you! You're a legend! Absolute mad lad. Drop down when I needed him the most. Thank you, sir. Oh, that was so stupid. Why would you put a warden in this mod? Maybe we should try lava next time. We could just pour a lava bucket on him. I don't... I don't really know. I know for sure we need a golem up here. There's no guaranteeing that's gonna be the last one either. So we'll get some backup on hand, right? Just ready to go. I actually thought the deep dark was gonna be boring. So I wasn't recording that and then it spawned and well, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna need iron. Yes, thank you. You know, that does have me thinking. We should probably think about upgrading our gear. So that'll give us mending protection three on our three main pieces. And now I am going to bang out the deep dark. Oh my god, dude. Really? Really? <gasps> okay, can I just feed this guy? <laughs> yes, Iron Golem, you're the man! Put him in the dirt! Prove to this lad that you are the dominant three high story person of my good job man thank you hey a goat horn an enchanted gold apple not bad at all all right desolate land i thought this was the end <laughs> guys i think we gotta do stronghold gosh dang it i want to beat the game oh okay well it is stronghold for sure so it's not like we have three more but we do have two more whoa okay now if there's one thing i have learned and it's a little late having an iron golem at, at the bottom like literally phenomenal look at this man just just an absolute unit just tanking oh you know it would be sick to get a mob head but it would be not so sick to like set off a nuke in here so oh oh i actually don't have a shield i oh you know i might actually need to like enchant it here wait did i did i kind of you know what i don't i don't regret that decision that was the right call um uh, excuse me uh oh there it is ha, -ha! a little late and you know really i i feel like i should still probably have a shield and should have had one like years ago. Anyway, we've got a lot of golems here, so it is a pretty safe area. Also something I should have done years ago. Oh, here we go, round two, round two. Oh my God, get this man out of here, dude. Dunzo, easy, easy, easy. Oh my God, bro, the golems, the golems are too good. Try to come at me, try to come at me. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but there it is. Oh. Well, the great thing about sending us two is that means we get two totems. Sick. <laughs> um, hi there. You may be wondering, why is it day 90? And to answer that question, my very worst fear came true. Uh, a few days ago, uh, day 88, I accidentally set off a charged creeper. There were some frustrations to be had. I didn't feel like that part of the content really represented me at my best. Sometimes you just... You gotta walk away from it for a sec. Anyway, it's almost fixed. This area is pretty much fixed. A good chunk of our wolves are dead, and uh, the blast also knocked off every single item frame. Yeah, I would very much like to just finish this now. And peace and quiet and happiness. Oh my. <laughs> not again. Absolutely not. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. See that right there? That is the end. <gasps> Before we do that, though, as you guys might recall, I made this crazy sheep contraption thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I think we got to make one more floor. We are going to make an entire room 
out of wool. Now we don't quite have enough wool for like a single colored floor. Let's see, I'm kind of thinking like this inward pattern. Hmm, this might not even be enough. I mean, don't get me wrong, this looks sick. But we don't really have enough for a full floor yet. Let's see what we're going for here. I think cyan will probably next. Now the next part will be the ceiling. Like we do have light blue, but it just feels so similar to the cyan that I feel like it's gonna look bad. Okay, apart from the giant hole in the floor, that looks pretty sick as is. We could safely get pink in here. Yeah, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with the rest of this, but I, I love how it looks. Like, say this room was real, it would be the most comfortable, soft, quiet space. I think I just want this, but in real life. For the rest of that, we're just gonna have to wait for more wool. But now, I think it's time we tackle the end. So I feel like there's not a lot to be said for this biome. So far, things have been pretty unexciting, but I do believe we're getting close to the end. And I am a little bit worried about this entire setup we have here getting wrecked by a portal frame, right? It's gonna spawn here, and it's usually like two or three below. All right, so that should be safe. We have a book got. Oh, hi there. <laughs> You're dead. Hey, all right, so that's gonna give us more than enough ender pearls. There's our shulker shell. Okay, I think this is our last monster party. We've got Enderman. You know, this doesn't look like it's gonna be very hard. I gotta be real. This is the big challenge. I think we can probably handle a few of these guys. Oh, the dog! What the, dog <laughs> the dog's gonna do him! But as expected, that was no problem. Oh! Whoa, that was cool. Oh man, respect for that little animation. Okay, and there we go. All right, so I kind of like what actually ended up happening here with this design. So I think we should actually go ahead and just basically remove all of this and not just the system, but like all the wood as well. So we're literally just removing all of it. And then from here, I'm not exactly sure what the play is. That looks kind of cool. We want to just kind of go back and forth with it because I mean that does look pretty sick See the big thing now is like this just looks kind of stupid. What if we just completely fill this in? Let's say I mean that's pretty sick, right? And I've also gone ahead and just kind of patched up our roof a bit part of me feels like we should just totally change it there I think that's better now ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready? To finish this out, I just first gotta brew up a few potions, make some eyes of ender, make a few more golden apples. Now, it's not much, but I'll scoop up a power one bow. I think that's about all we can really get on our gear. I think we're ready. So let's see here. It's just, oh, easy. Okay. Oh, I understand. If the world was 16 by 16 in here, we wouldn't be able to break anything outside of it, and then we could never kill the Ender Dragon. So there's still a border, it's just not quite as big. So, okay. Gotcha. Now, we've just got a couple more things to shoot. I should also mention that if you guys did find this mod, this video, this whole world interesting, you can play this exact same thing on my server. People always ask, how do I play this world? And for once, you can actually do it. See this guy right here? He is not allowed to play on the server, but you, all of you, you can. Take this potion. It will give me strength. Probably have regen too. What? How are all of you on me? Oh, that's not great. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, I actually missed one. Okay, let's try this again there, Ender Dragon. Oh, yeah, that's right, you're running. Listen, Ender Dragon, you can leave the perimeter all you want. The second you come down here, this is about to get nasty for ya. What if I do this? Oh, it's kinda, kinda, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But see this, this is why we have slow falling. Wow, it's really, oh, oh, I got it, ha <laughs> Now listen, Ender Dragon, I didn't come all the way here to lose in this one. We started this video on a single block. We went through every biome in the game, built our house from nothing into something, and now we stand here on our final day. Our eyes clear and our hearts full. We've made friends, enemies, and even new subscribers along the way. Not only are we beating this world from a single block, we are beating this with a single block. Woo! -wee.
we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Help us reach 69% of viewers not subscribed. Go check out my new Minecraft server. And me, I will see you in the next one. Peace.